Hey everyone, it's Mex Canadensis, and today we are going to be doing a doll hunt. Um, so I know you've read the title, but I'm gonna pretend you haven't. Today we are looking for the Winter Trail OMG dolls as well as the Rainbow High Cheer dolls. I know that the Rainbow High Cheer dolls are at this store because I saw them two days ago when I didn't have the money. So that's what I'm here for. And I can't get all of them right now because I have to pay the rent and like buy groceries, but I am willing to get one or two of them. So yeah. Prom perfect aren't on clearance yet. Oh, but she is. I really want the new Cave Club dolls, but they're not in the store yet. They only have the old ones, but they are on clearance. Except the one I want, of course. And then Rainbow High is sold out. Because they were on clearance the other day. All of them except Jade were $10, and I missed it. And now they're back and not $10. I don't know why they did that. And then I still need her... And then Kitty's just gone, I guess. Oh. Are those new Barbies in yet? Barbie is like white. Wow. Christmas classic. But like, the Barbie sucks right now. So it's weird that they sell so well, but they have the new fashionistas. Parents don't know that they suck right now. They have the new ones that come in the reusable packaging. And then, on the horizon, what Excuse do we see? Me. Excuse me, Santa doesn't know. <laughs> I'm not a Santa denier. I have to mute this part because of the blaring Christmas music. I don't want to get copyright striked, but oh my gosh, the Rainbow High Dolls, there they are! And it is really, really empty, that's what I say here. I know you can't tell because my mouth is under the mask, but here they are. There's like six or seven dolls in here, and almost all of them were messed up, which is what I'm going to be going through now. Um, here's a super wonky Amaya doll. Look at that. Not Amaya. Oh my gosh, Poppy. I really wanted to get Poppy today, but unfortunately they are all messed up in some way. They all had mis- they all had smeared paint or messed up eyes. I have a feeling these dolls were rushed through production because um, paint smears and stuff like that, they will happen, but they don't happen nearly this commonly as in like almost every single doll unless there's some kind of rush going on or if maybe the stamps weren't super good. I don't know how it works to be honest, but was really sad about it but if you look closely you should be fine i would just be worried about worry, um, ordering these online i'd be careful so because of all the messed up dolls i went with jade and violet which were the two good ones i believe the skylar was also good so i'm hoping to get her but i prefer violet i think she looks amazing so yeah here's my girls and i'm super happy <laughs> So the guy said I could have it, but he has to go get something to put here, so he's just waiting. But like, he said I could have the display. I'm so excited! Are you excited? Mm -hmm. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm so stoked. Nothing. What you got? Milk. You got milk? Yeah, it's in there. Yeah. What you got, boy? Butter. <laughs> what you gonna put in here? <laughs> I am so happy. I am over the moon. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it only actually took your card twice where it tried. I got the display. I got the display. has worked fine everywhere. That guy is going to stop us, huh? <laughs> I know. Yeah. How are we doing? Good. We're taking your garbage. And here's the receipt. <laughs> are you up in the Thank you. Um, Thank you. Um, I'm going to be asking the rest of the candy and putting in the... And in the... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put it Huh? Well, it's cardboard. It would get ruined. Woo! Hi! 
So there's a clip coming up and I want to explain what it is to truly um, help you grasp what I had to go through to get this display. So actually getting the display was the easy part, but getting it home, it's huge. It will not fit in your car. Like even if you have like a van, unless you, you have like a big trunk door, it's not going to fit. It was, it's huge. Um, it's like six feet by five feet maybe. Anyway, um, so we realized it wouldn't fit in the car. I wanted to hold it on top of the car, but it's just me and Brett and he would have to be driving. So for him to have an arm out the window to hold it up wouldn't be safe for him or for the car or for other drivers. And if it fell off, that would suck. It would ruin it. So um, we had to think of something else. So basically we locked every all the groceries and the dolls in the car and we decided to walk home. When we first moved in, our neighbor told us that the guy across the street who owns the vineyard is his friend and told us that we are welcome to walk through the vineyard to get to Walmart because the Walmart is like a mile through a vineyard in some wilderness. Um, so he basically told us, yeah, you can walk through there. So me and Brett were like, cool, we can just walk through there because otherwise it would have been like a three mile walk if we went around. So we were like, sounds good. So <laughs> we walk through this like sketchy alleyway behind the Walmart to get to the the path that we were told about. There was just this hastily wire cut part of this big fence um, that you could barely fit a person through. And my neighbor's like a big man. So we were like, uh, and we looked and there was no other way. And we were like, are we doing this? Cause we already walked like five minutes by that point. And we were like, yeah, we're gonna do this. So I went under the fence, Brett threw the display over. I caught it. Um, and we walked. It was like a 10, 15 minute walk. It was really cold. Brett's hand was like gushing blood because he cut himself on the display. <laughs> and um, I only managed to capture a couple, like maybe 40 seconds of the debacle before we even went under the fence because my phone ended up dying. But yeah, so we had to walk through, we had to walk under that fence through a bunch of brambles and then there was a field and then behind the field there was this really scary woods and there was like a husk of a car um and then once we got through the woods we were at the vineyards so these are really long vineyards so we walked through the vineyards and they were really like wet because the snow was melting and they were all like brambly <laughs> it was like a lot to have to walk through with no light um yeah but it was worth it <laughs> So that's what this clip over here is to show you us walking at home. And then I had to drive Brett back to his car so he could drive home. <laughs> it was it was like a an hour long debacle. Like I heard the we have a clock and we have, live in a small town, so there's like a clock tower that makes noises. And we heard the nine o'clock bell toll, and we we arrived at Walmart around eight. So Brett, what are we doing? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I love you talk about it when it's over. It won't focus on anything so it's even scarier. <laughs> Scary. We're gonna fall in like a ditch. Hi. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? Meandering. I'm over here. I'm sorry. Huh? I think. Hello friends. So um unexpected win today so I just finished opening up Violet and Jade, sorry, that's my filming light, it's really bright. But I just finished opening the dolls that I got with my display. I really thought I was going to have to buy multiple of each doll, but he told me I could take it even though it wasn't completely empty. So, no, I didn't steal the display. I wanna get that out of the way right now. I asked, I asked somebody if I could have it two days ago if I bought every doll inside, and he said yes. But it would have been $600 if I bought every doll inside. So I was like, I'll come back when it's more empty. So I came back today just to see how it was doing and it was almost completely empty. There were only six dolls in the display. Um, and all of the dolls except the ones that I got were messed up. So I asked the guy if I could have it because they were almost all gone and he said, sure. So display tour. So the back is this amazing gigantic billboard of the girls. I love it. And it says color style looks so fly. We're the girls at Rainbow High. <laughs> um, and then the top actually has like a little topper thing. I'll show it to you in a minute. It's just not here right now. Sorry, we're in my basement. This is where I keep my dolls. Um, and then one side has Skylar on it. And it says collect the rainbow. 
Rainbow High Cheer. And then the top is just blank and it's really sturdy too, which I'm really happy about because I can display dolls on top of it. I'm planning to get some inbox dolls to display on the actual shelf and then I'll put the actual like unbox dolls all on top. And I can like, if I get another display, I'm hoping to get the one they have at Target since this was so successful. Um, if I can get another one, I will stack it on top of this one if it's the same size. Um, the shelves are all just basic white cardboard. They're not cute. And there's some things inside that are made to like space it out. If, for example, if they sold almost all the rubies and they only had one left because this is Ruby's spot, they would put this here so that Ruby wouldn't get pushed back. It's just a um, shelf presentation thing. Um, and then we have the gradient that goes all the way through the ra <laughs> rainbow. Violet and Skylar are on the front. I love Violet's art. She looks really cute. Um, and then the last side is Ruby. Ruby's my favorite in this series and she looks really good on this art. Please excuse whatever that is. <laughs> is that my cat? Hi, Leggy! Do you see her? We're cleaning my basement right now. Please excuse the mess. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with this. I'm kind of bummed because this shelf is so cute. Or the, not the shelf. This part is so cool. So I want to display it like the back. But can't really cut. I stepped on some bubble wrap. Um, this part is where the dolls are gonna be able to like stand. This is really sturdy. I actually have another store display. This one I didn't have to like get because my stepmom works or worked at Kroger, which is a grocery store, and they had this one and she just brought it home for me. And I love it, but it's not very sturdy. It's actually pretty bad quality, to be honest with you. It is just cardboard and it's made to only be up for like a couple weeks, but. It's not great as a collector, but this one is spectacular. Like, it is sturdy, so I am excited about this. I don't know where I'm going to put it, though. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm really, really happy. <laughs> um, so, if this is... If you ever see a thing that you know they're going to throw away that you want, go ask for it. The worst they can say is no. They might think you're crazy. <laughs> oh, I forgot I was gonna show you the top part. This is the topper. So usually they'll at least let you take the topper. I actually have several Monster High toppers and I have an American Girl one. There's one behind my head and then there's one right there. This is the topper for that shelf. So I might actually display this separately from the rest of the shelf, I'm not sure, but it basically just inserts in. And I've already seen people on the Facebook page already have this, so. <laughs> anyway, really didn't think this was gonna be successful. Really thought they would just be like, uh, no, but if you buy all the dolls inside, basically how these work is that the store receive it's called a shipper. The store receives all of the dolls in here. They just pop it out and put, put it up. And then when the dolls are all gone, the shelf is basically worthless. So they just throw it away. So some stores won't give it to you. It's fine. Um, I've never ha actually asked before cause I've always been so scared to ask. But I'm <laughs> really happy. So yeah, this is the most successful doll hunt for me, I guess, because I got this. I was ready to like bribe them to give it to me. Like, <laughs> anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.